right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to what possibly could be my last video on Rainbow Six Siege. In this video, I'm basically going to go over exactly why I've decided to stop playing Siege and what the future of my channel looks like. So if you guys just want a quick TLDR, as I do not want to make you watch a full 20 minute video on why I'm quitting the game, TLDR, Ubisoft's poor management of Rainbow Six Siege has basically led the game into a complete state of disarray. It is in the worst state it has ever been in multiple aspects, which we'll get into here in a minute. And because of that, creating content has been nearly impossible. From the perspective of enjoying creating content and even just being able to do it with as you guys know the servers have been down the cheater issues all of that good stuff but we're gonna go into all of that that was the quick tldr let's first go into the cheaters because that is the number one problem and the number one reason on why i am quitting siege the footage you guys are watching right now is actually my first two games back playing rainbow six siege since christmas okay so i've not played rainbow six siege in a full month exactly one month i took a break from it i've been uploading the finals content and these games that you're watching right now are the full unedited raw first two games back okay and as you guys will see in a second both of the games ended up being against blatant cheaters and this is really the biggest issue with siege right now because as a content creator you have to play a lot of the game to get footage to upload onto youtube especially when on my channel i've been doing daily uploads for years now so to get enough footage it really does take quite a bit of play time to actually get it but the issue is is that a lot of the games in my experience, it's two out of three games are blatant cheaters. And the third one usually has a wall hacker or a recoil macro user or something like that. But two to three games are normally cheaters. So the biggest issue with creating content on Siege recently has been the amount of time needed to put into the game to just simply produce one video. So with the amount of time that you really need to play Siege just to get one video out, it's it's begun to be kind of impossible to consistently get good videos out and produce good content and you guys will notice that most of my videos over the past you know year or two have been custom game videos and if you've been watching a lot of the content creators in siege recently they're also doing custom game videos and the reason is simply because the cheaters are just so bad that it's it's basically impossible to actually get any usable footage from playing the game, right? But that's just one problem. The other problem is also the servers. As you guys have most likely seen over the past month, the servers were down for literally close to a month. The entire time I was taking a break from Siege from about Christmas to, you know, I think about a week or two ago, the servers were just completely down. So if, if you were even able to get into the game from the servers being down, you were most likely to play a cheater. So these, these two things really are hurting Siege a lot. And the third biggest thing, in my opinion, is the balancing. The balancing in Siege is pretty bad. And I think the reason for this is because after so many years of... Ubisoft trying to address the balancing by simply nerfing all of the operators or guns. I think what that's done is it's actually made everything very unfun to use. You know, I understand maybe some things need to be nerfed, but if you go about nerfing everything, for example, Sludge now being a one speed, Zofia being a one speed, the SMG 11 being taken away on Sludge, the withstand on Zofia being taken away, the recoil on all the guns being increased heavily, their mag sizes being reduced as well. All of these things are nerfs. And you may think that, well, these things are necessary so that everybody, all the operators and all the weapons fall into the correct balance. But in my opinion, I think it's actually made the game very unfun because by nerfing all of the operators, 
you've basically dropped the fun floor, right? Now, before you had all your guns had ACOGs, you had 31 bullets in your mag, the recoil wasn't ridiculous, your secondaries were good, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You weren't a one speed on your entry operators, but now in the current state of the game, everyone has been nerfed to a point where playing those operators and playing with those weapons are no longer as fun as they used to be. And a side effect of this is basically everybody in the community, and you guys know I'm, I'm also completely a part of this, have basically just gravitated towards the same like five or 10 operators on each side. So Ubisoft is looking at that and they're like, well, these win percentages and these uh, KD percentages are simply too high. They need to be nerfed. And unfortunately, we've had so many years of this like vicious cycle of just nerfing the best thing at the time that now a lot of things in the game are just no longer as fun as they used to be. And I think that's that's a big contributing factor to the current state of the game. But another thing is the fact that there's just significantly less content to be played in Siege. I remember when Siege used or Ubisoft used to add two new operators and a new map every single season, which was every three or four months. And on top of the new op the two new operators and the new map, you would also get tons of balancing changes. You would get a mid-season reinforcements, which one of the most memorable ones for me, the mid-season reinforcements, was when they added the impact grenades. And that alone completely changed up the game to this day. So Ubisoft decided that Hey, we're gonna we're gonna upload less content we're not gonna make as much new maps new operators new guns they started reusing a lot of guns etc and they said they're gonna focus on quality of life and improving the state of the game that's when we got operation health and all that stuff right well now we're not really seeing any of those quality of life or you know health changes to the game actually coming through the cheaters are still as bad as ever i mean if not the actual worst they have ever been i know people like to say that but in my opinion it's legitimately the worst it's ever been and as well as the servers going down for weeks on end with practically no communication coming from ubisoft so with less content being added to the game and all of these balancing issues making the content that is already in the game not that fun to play combined with the server issues and other bugs as well as the non-stop constant cheaters whether you're on pc and you're playing blatant aim hackers or you're on console playing ddosers and playing against mnk users it's pretty much unescapable right now and unfortunately that has kind of ruined Siege for me. And I don't really feel comfortable even supporting what the game has become. You know, I've been playing this game since eight years. I've been playing it since the release and I've built up pretty much my entire life on Siege. So it really sucks to see this game decline like this. And trust me, I would love to continue playing Siege. I would love to continue uploading content on it. But as the footage you guys are seeing right now, I mean, this is every game. And if you guys have been watching my solo queue series on Siege as well, you guys will know that most games are going down just like this footage. And when this is the only games you get, it's really hard to make any sort of content out of it. People really aren't interested in seeing you play against blatant aim hackers anymore. So that brings us to the siege youtube scene now there are a ton of rainbow six siege youtubers now and i'm not saying that necessarily as a negative or a diss on anyone but what i'm saying is there's a lot of supply and not a lot of demand right now because as you guys know the player counts for siege are at a pretty low compared to their high and so is the view count if Jinxie is not streaming on Twitch, Siege normally has like 3,000 to 6,000 viewers, live viewers on Twitch, which is really bad. Not to mention all of the top content creators, and again, this is not a diss on anybody, but 
all of the top content creators, including myself, you know, including Varsity, Bolo, Spoy, whoever you want to mention, for the most part, has seen significant decreases in their viewership. And basically what's happened is there's so many different content creators trying to produce content on the game, but Ubisoft is not implementing enough new content for us all to make content on it. There's basically way too many of us all trying to do the same thing, right? So I think that has kind of, you know, affected my channel quite a bit. It's affected a lot of people's channels, but it's it's ultimately on Ubisoft, in my opinion. A lot of it is on Ubisoft for just not supporting their game, not adding enough new content for people to actually make videos on. For example, when we do the capture events, which is basically when the content creators play the new season early, I started doing those back in Shadow Legacy. That was my first season ever playing uh, the new season for Siege early. And I was with all the content creators, Macy J, King George, you know, everybody's there playing. And it was great because that was the season we got new optics. Um, that was the season zero came out. There was a lot of changes. The new optics was the biggest. I think we got the Chalet rework as well. There was a lot that happened in that season and it was great. But as time went on, all of us in the capture events kind of started to complain that there just wasn't enough for us all to record. Ubisoft would invite dozens and dozens of us content creators into these capture events and there would be one new operator to play and oftentimes no new map, no new secondary gadgets, no new weapons, and just some slight balancing changes. And while that's okay for a little while, We've been going on years and years and years of no new content. And unfortunately, I think this is kind of just where it's left us. So ultimately, that is why I've decided to quit playing Siege. I'm definitely going to, you know, keep my eye on it. If Ubisoft releases some sort of, you know, crazy patch or, or, or if they come out with Siege 2, like um valve did with counter-strike 2 and um overwatch 2 and all that stuff you know cool like if they can bring the game back to its former state and it's actually playable again then by all means i'll definitely come back to siege upload new content on it but as it is right now it just doesn't really make sense for me to continue to pursue siege content i've been trying to hold out for over a year i mean really much longer but things have been really bad the past year on siege and i've i've been trying to give ubisoft as many chances as i can but they won't even communicate with the community when the servers are down for close to a month so unfortunately it's just not giving me much signs of hope for the future and because of that i plan to focus my content on the finals i don't know if you guys have heard of the finals but it's a free game I'm not sponsored by them whatsoever, but I have absolutely been loving the finals. It's got destruction similar to Siege, but it's just a, a great FPS game. It's a ton of fun and the developers have fun in mind. So I've been trying to really focus on that. It's been blowing up recently. You guys might've seen some of my videos on it, but that is my plan going forward is to pursue the finals and hopefully we can make something big happen there. But that is pretty much it. I don't really have much else to say about Siege. Ultimately, I don't think that everything is so bad. I think Siege is in an okay spot. I don't think it's officially dead. There are still people playing it. There are still people making a living off of producing content on it. So by no means is Siege dead. But for me, it is dead. I think the Siege that I knew and the Siege that I fell in love with no longer is what it is today and for that reason i just really don't want to continue playing it after eight years of playing the game i feel like it's time to move on to bigger and better things but as i said before i'm really hoping that ubisoft is able to come back with some sort of an update maybe a siege 2 i really don't know but hopefully they're able to do something to curb the amount of cheaters in the game increase the server stability and really bring the balancing back as well as some new content just bring 
you know, br bring some, you know, fresh air into the game. It really needs something to get it back and going. But uh, I just want to say I really do appreciate all of my subscribers. Thank you guys so much for supporting me over the past few years on Siege. It really does mean a lot to me. And like I said, you know, it's not all negative about Siege. It's just right now for me, it's not what I want to do. And at the end of the day, I think it still does have a chance to come back. It's by no means completely gone. But for me right now, I think it's best to go ahead and step away and try to focus on the finals. So that being said, I hope you guys are there to stick around with me for the finals content. If you're not, if you're only interested in the Siege content, I completely understand. By all means, unsubscribe. But I'm going to be grinding the finals content, trying to upload the best videos that I can. So if you guys are interested in top tier gameplay on the finals, consider sticking around and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.